Hey, it is I, Ty Ty, and I'm back with another video per usual per. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, I look crazy. I feel like I start every video with that, but I really look crazy. So, um, I am fresh out the shower, freshly washed, hair still kind of dripping. Hair still dripping, wrapped up in the towel. What Fab say? Oh, all right. No, nah, JK, but um, yeah. So I just washed and conditioned my hair and we're about to get into it. So this is what my hair looks like. Fresh out the shower. Um, I did a simple wash and condition. No deep condition. Um, let's just get into this. Let's just get into the tutorial, enough talking. So as I'm parting these, I really don't care the fact that they're not even. I'm just kind of making it as even as possible. A, because it's the back. Who's really going to see the back? I wear my hair in a bun anyway, even with twists. And B, um, I'm just, I'm not pressed about the parting. I'm kind of just going for it an abstract look, I guess, if you want to call it. So I'm not really worried about parting. So for my moisturizer today, I want to use my Holy Grail, the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. I always have to have one of these in my, um, I always have to have one of these in my, um, in my little hair collection because this is just the Holy Grail. I've been using this since 2014. So I try to get the product as smooth and evenly distributed as possible. Then I'm just gonna take my little detangling brush and brush the product through. After I have my moisturizer on, I like to seal with a little bit of oil. Then I brush that oil through as well. Well, we already know these twist about to be juicy because you see the excess product already coming through all right so i think with this section because i don't want my twists too too small i don't want them too too big i think i can do about three twists so i just clip the rest away next i am going to go in with some lot of body mousse just a tiny teeny bit of hold nothing too crazy but it does give me a nice little you know a little quick keep hold and then I took straight twist. It is freaking Monday night, like nine o'clock. Have to work tomorrow, but you know what? I really don't mind because the good thing about this style, it does take a little while for me to do, I would say an hour and 30 minutes at most. But I just love the fact when I wake up in the morning, I don't have to do anything. I can just take my scarf off and go for real. The most I have to do is fix my edges because I'm not going nowhere without no fixed edges. There's one twist. But I really love the fact that this style is so low maintenance. I don't have to do too much. Like I said, I wake up, I style it, probably do some baby hairs. And that's what I like because I have to get up early for work. So the last thing I want to do, I hate when I have to get up early. I have to prep my clothes because I was too lazy the night before. Then I still have to do my hair, which is nine times out of 10 a bun. Mm -mm. So I really like this style because it makes my life so much easier. So I added that mousse and then we're about to twist.
sometimes depending on how I feel, what look I'm going for, how lazy I'm feeling, whatever the case may be, I'll go at the base of the twist and add some pomade. I'm using the Style Factor Edge Booster and the Apple Cinnamon Scent. And I, you know, just put that on my root to give it like a more clean, sleek kind of look. I don't do this all the time. It kind of just depends on how I feel, like I said. I do recommend if you do this to use maybe like a beeswax holding kind of pomade because this isn't strong enough for me, so. Okay, y'all. So these are my results. They are nice and shiny, luscious. Ooh. So yeah, um, I left my edges out so that by tomorrow morning I don't even gotta do too much. They already out. All I gotta do is, and yeah, they yeah they lit. <laughs> it's just so convenient. I can get up. I can roll out of bed. I can throw my hair in a bun and. I'm good. So, yeah, I'm about to wrap these up, preserve them throughout the night, and I will see y'all tomorrow morning when I get ready for work. Not this particular one, but I really like this edge brush because you know how it is, ladies, when you get an edge brush and you just work it the right way, it hardens, it's nice and stiff, the hair, it knows how to move the hair. Even though it's dirty as I don't know what, and I need to clean it soon, but it's just so stiff and it moves the hair exactly how I need it to move. Versus this one, it's nice and clean, but the bristles are just too soft. Like my hair barely moves. So. Just some simple swoopy doops. No, nothing artistic.
y'all i did not mean for my edges to come out like that i never do my edges like this where it's just like like a wave i never do and then it's just this one going this way i never do this but it turned out like this today so it's saying like this it turned out like this it turned out all right all right, all right chill I think I'm just gonna go ahead and for security purposes, go ahead and spray my edges because even though the edge booster is pretty damn, I just wanna, you know, throughout the day, I just want my edges to stick, so. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. If you feel you have reached this recording in error, please check the number and try your call again.